Well, what is up, Sex Beach? Crazy Rabbit here. Today, I'm showing you guys the PTRS on round 51, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this on round 51 is because it was a dog round on round 50, and you might as well just go to the next round. Now, in round 51, zombies are stronger. They're not that much stronger, but they are stronger than in round 50. And I am playing this on PC, and I did use the console command give all, which basically gives me all the weapons. And the reason I did this is because it makes my life so much easier to where I don't have to keep hitting the box. I can just automatically get the weapon I want. It also gives me more ammo for the guns than they normally have. So the PTRS does not normally carry this much ammo. It normally carries 8 in the clip and then 60 extra, so it does not hold this much ammo, so don't get that in your mind. The max amount of ammo you can hold with this weapon is 68. And we actually pack a bunch of the PTRS, and I did not show you guys the PTRS regular. I actually just showed you guys the Penetrator. It's basically the same thing, except for one, it has more ammo in the clip, and two, it's Penetrator power is a lot better than the regular PTRS. Instead of penetrating only three zombies, you can penetrate five zombies. That's what makes this gun really good on high rounds. The only thing that really sucks about this gun is the mobility. Your mobility is going to be shit. You better have like an SMG or something they can actually run with, or else those zombies are going to keep catching up to you, which is a pain in the ass. The mobility on this weapon is absolutely terrible, but it actually makes up for it because you can actually get some kills with this thing. One really awesome thing about World of War weapons is they have a huge damage multiplier if you shoot zombies in the head. So if you aim for the head, you're going to get a huge damage multiplier, and plus this weapon can penetrate more zombies, so you're actually going to be able to get some kills. So if you shoot a zombie a couple times in the face, you're going to get that kill, and since that bullet it's going to keep going through multiple zombies. All you have to do is shoot at the next zombie a little less and you're actually going to get a kill. So being able to penetrate more zombies with this weapon is a huge plus and also the damage multiplier if you shoot a zombie in the face is a huge plus. So this weapon is actually going to be able to get you some kills. Granted it's not going to be able to take out maybe a training 24 but it's actually going to be able to do some work. So you're not going to be sitting there just doing absolutely nothing. You're actually going to be able to get some kills. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.